So Schoology, right now, I know that it could be a little bit overwhelming, but there are plenty of people out there that can help you. So I want to show you just quick five things, um, it's kind of four, but really five, that could help you have no idea where to start. All right, and just accomplishing one thing, even though it may not seem like it's very important, can really just make you feel a lot better. So those five things that we're gonna talk about are your profile, your resources, linking your classes, uh, talk a little bit about folders, and then your classes overview as a whole, which will kind of go hand in hand with folders, but be, your overview of classes are gonna kind of be in there all together. So, without anything else, let's, let's just get started. So, this is where it pulls you up when you first open Schoology. It's either going to pull you up here to your dashboard or it's going to pull you up to recent activity. Okay, which for me just shows what I've done. <clears throat> for your students, it can be very overwhelming for them if this is where they land when they log in. It can look like there's a lot going on. So, it would be easier if you just have this nice neat area for you to go when you log into Schoology. So to do that, we're gonna start, that's the first place you're gonna start with your profile. So up here in the upper right hand corner, we wanna click on profile. We can change our profile picture, our info. We can change, um, if you wanna put a blog post in there, you can. And your portfolio um, is something you can play around with, is, with there as well. If you don't have all this info in, it's just very blank and very vague, so I filled in a lot of that stuff for me. Um, so that's just the basics of your profile right there. Um, if you, your landing page, we go to settings, okay? Your landing page is at the very bottom of your account settings. All of this stuff is pretty straightforward. Course dashboard, that's what I wanna land on. I wanna click on that save my changes it'll give you a green bar that says your uh, changes have been saved and then you're good to go so that being said that's really all there is to your profile again um, you might I don't I didn't like mine being all white here so I filled in um, everything so next on our list is resources resources is a great place to start if you have a good idea of how you're going to teach stuff so for me in the school system that I work for, uh, everything, we spent a lot of time this summer working on our essential standards, our need to know standards, and then from there we kind of broke them down a little bit farther. So what I did was I made a, these boxes over here, okay? So again, it's called a collection or a collection box. There's a little box icon. Uh, that's kind of like a folder, but it's a a box so if you can imagine like a box that you would put filing folders in that's what that's for so I made one for each standard and then depending on what my standard is I have a breakdown of how I'm going to teach that standard that's for me to help anything this is very important anything that you put in resources you will not have to redo when the school year changes if you put it in a course you'll have to redo it so that's why I have all this here so then I can just add it to my course but you want to do everything in resources first and then move it to a course. That's why I put it at number two for that reason. So, resources, that's where you're going to put all your content, organize it so that it makes it easier for you to do it again next year. You can always edit it and change it, but for me, this is the way, the way our school system is doing everything right now. This was the one that made the most sense to me was to prioritize it by my essential standards. Um, again, have it split up into different parts. Um, this orange folder is like my important to know standard. That's not essential, but it's important and it's tied to this other standard. So that's why that folder is orange and the other ones are blue. That's just for me. Your preference, you need to organize this however 
you see fit that makes it easy for you so that you can use this from year to year to year. All right. Number three, linking classes. Okay. So if you go to the My Courses tab and you go all the way over to the blue link that says My Courses, you can pull up. So as you can see for me, I have three accelerated math classes. Um, a first, this is for our first period, fourth period, and then with the virtual, we have a virtual class that's kind of split up. So right now I have 3A and 3R for regular and accelerated for me to know that they're in the same place in our iNow grading system. Um, so that that's for me. But you could have an issue here. It's very easy to link classes. You just click the little cog. Now for me, the linking is grayed out because I already have my classes linked. So you would click that. All right. So if you click that, so I'm real quick, briefly, I'm just going to unlink um, this and restore my original section. What this does here is your grades will not be carried over. You must download a, record, a record of these grades before unlinking. This just gives you the option to download it. I don't have any grades in. So for me, when it pulls up my download box, some people have automatic downloads on. I do not. I'm just going to cancel because there's nothing there. And then I'm going to unlink the section. So that's good to go. All right. If you have two of them linked already and you want to link the third one, you got to click on the one with two first. It'll click, uh, make a little box here that you can click on and link it. If this area is grayed out and you cannot link the section, if you'll just hover your mouse over it for a little bit, it'll tell you the main reason that it won't link. And one of the biggest reasons, especially where I work, has been we had a special ed teacher that was also an admin in the inclusion classes that we had, which is fine. It's easy workaround. So if this is grayed out, it may say something like admins are not the same or something like that. I'm going to show you how to fix that. All right. So again, even when you link them, it's going to ask you to put in some sort of uh, download a grade book. Again, I don't need to do that because there's nothing in there. I want to link those sections up and it did not affect anything. It still has all three sections linked up here. So I'm good to go. All right. But what I do want to show you real quick, I'm just going to use this class as an example because this is, I don't really have anybody in here now, but if it was grayed out and you need to change your admins, okay, so this is kind of partial what we talked about a while ago. We'll do folders. This your classes overview. This is kind of part of it that you can look at for your classes. When I go inside a class, I have all this material here. All right. If I go to members, sometime today, this is a teacher that I work with. Um, if I make her an admin, so if you have two admins, so this is what we're running into. We had a special ed teacher that was an admin in both classes, so it wouldn't let us link that class. So what we had to do. Uh, was go here and remove the admin and then I could go back and relink the class and then I would come back to this same page find this teacher and make her an admin again so that was my workaround to link my classes so that may be if it's not that just hover your mouse over it like I showed you earlier and it'll it'll give you a reason and it should be an easy fix for the most part or you may have to contact your IT person for your school system, All right? So, materials page. This is kind of what your students can see or not see, depending on what you publish and don't publish. So, folders for our school system. Folders have, are awesome for us. Um, we want to use each nine weeks. Maybe you do uh, quarters, or maybe you just do semesters. Uh, I'm not sure what your school system does, but you know. So we did ours by nine weeks. And then inside the nine weeks, we have each week broken down to help us out. Now, this is an old class, so my dates are not updated since we had to change some things. But this is how we kind of organize it. Because there are features in here that help us as, you know, as students, Two, we have a lot of different options here 
that we can do to help us out. So, anyway, boulders, use them to your advantage to organize them as best as possible. It's very easy to add a folder of any kind. Materials, add a folder. You have plenty of colors to pick from. A description for our our main courses so like we've put our standards that we plan or hope to cover uh, in this grading period in here so the kids kind of see our standards every single day that's something that we um, have taught our leadership team at school has talked about and so we're we're posting that we're putting it there the kids see it every day it's gonna be in our rooms every day it's just an extra place for kids to see that so there's your folders there is a lot more this for you to get overwhelmed with um, but just again classes overview courses overview your grade books here um, the members is important uh, I would I would focus on two things first um, just this has just been a super easy thing uh, hopefully easy I realize that not everyone finds this as easy as others but I would focus on your folders in your classes. Again, my, our nine weeks dates are going to change. So that's why we went ahead and did this in the classes and not the resources. I didn't want to organize my resources by nine weeks because that may change. I may decide after this year I don't want that. And yeah, I could change it from nine weeks to nine weeks. That's fine. But in this particular order, I kind of have an idea of... And, and you can rearrange your resources as well. I kind of have them in the order I'm going to plan on going in in here. Try to help me out a little bit. So again, make your resources. Um, look at your settings. Make sure they're the way you want them. Your profile. So your kids may go check that out. They may, my, may find that something interesting to do the first day of school. Um, you can check that out. This is where a lot of people are putting their bitmojis at the top. There's videos for that in the description if you want to look at that. Um, but again, it's just a very basic overview of your profile, your resources, linking your classes, folders, and just a little bit of what you can do with your members and your folders. Again, there's a lot more to this, but you need a place to start. And if you can just get some little something done, it will make you feel a lot better about the year. I know it did for me when I just, I finally figured out something to do. I could make my nine weeks folders then I started making my resources it just made me feel a lot a lot better uh, just remember anything you put in a class especially the classes that are made by your administration like ours are you're gonna lose all that stuff at the end of the year so make sure anything that you want to keep you put in resources first and then put it in your class if you have any questions leave them in the comments um, send me an email mr. coach Miller at gmail.com um, if you're from the school system, you can you can email me through there. Thank you uh, for watching. If you need anything else, again, please let me know. Appreciate you coming again uh, just to check us out one more time.